Okay. All right. So today we're here with Zoe and we're going to work on some loose leash walking using, um, you know, a little, a structured walk. So this is called the structured walk exercise. And what we want to do is if she starts to pull, we want to keep Zoe into the heel position. So by doing that, we're going to be, um, expect her to be kind of right here. If her nose is much ahead of our, the toes of our shoes, we want to correct her by quickly pulling the leash up and releasing kind of like light switch up and down. So that will help teach her to um, where her location is. If she gets the edge of, end of the leash, she's already has too much force and she'll, we'll be having to pull backwards like this. And when you pull backwards on a dog, it uh, initiates their opposition reflex. And the opposition reflex is when dogs feel pressure on their body, they naturally pull against it. So she's, if anything, when you pull on her, she's gonna pull forward, pull harder, and so on and so forth. So what we really wanna do is keep her right next to us so we can pull straight up. Notice how quickly she stopped moving. And I'm not, this is a very mild correction. You only wanna to have to use as much for the minimal amount of force to get her to respond. We don't wanna be yanking on her or doing anything harmful because this is not intended to be harmful in any way. Um, but we wanna pull straight up so we're not having her pull forward or lean back against the pressure. And then if she starts to lollygag on the walk, we want to just keep uh, the leash next to us on our arm like this, keep it nice and your arm nice and straight, and just walk forward. You don't want to stop and kind of let her smell the roses. So with this type of a structured walk to help her stop pulling, this is an exercise. So let her go potty first, things like that, so you don't have to worry about her needing to stop to go pee or something like that. Over time, as she stops pulling so much on the leash, you can start giving her more and more freedom so she can smell more and engage in that type of stuff. But in the beginning stages, you wanna keep it very structured so she's not pulling at all and um, she's really kind of learning the fundamentals of what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go ahead and go outside. It's important to um, start off going outside when she's nice and calm. So once you get the leash on, give her a minute and let her calm down. Whatever energy she has inside, she'll bring outside. So if she's hyper in here, she'll definitely start pulling and be more hyper outside. So if you can, try to give her a little bit of time to kind of relax like she is. This is perfect um, that she's willing to lay down with the leash on. This is a good indicator that she's ready to go. All right, Zoe. Um, and I wouldn't try to get her too worked up. You don't wanna say, oh, you wanna go for a walk and try to get her all worked up because that's going to lead to her uh, pulling more and getting too excitable. Okay. So if you just want to follow me with the camera, good. Sit. Sit. Good. Ask her to sit before you go through the doorways. And then I want you to walk out of the door first before her. Okay, come on here. If she's at this point still pulling quite a bit, because I know that you've had some um, troubles with her really pulling quite hard, just stop until she's willing to calm down. I want you to be able to stand still with the leash loose like this. Um, the goal is for you to be able to get to the point where you could put this like around a belt or something, tuck the excess into your pocket and go for a walk and not worry about it. Mm -hmm. So when you're walking her, you want this leash to be loose on her. If she pulls, um, kind of correct her immediately so she doesn't get into pulling. It's always harder to stop a dog once they're really pulling. Mm -hmm. If she keeps doing it, stand still until she can calm herself down. And that will start teaching her that pulling equals standing still, which is boring for a dog. Okay, let's go ahead and get going. Um, try to keep the leash, keep your hand as close to her as you can. It's, I still want it loose, but notice how um, I'm using this excess leash and just kind of putting it down and grabbing closer to her so I can correct her quicker. If I'm all the way up here, I'm jerking my hand up and sh or she has too much room to kind of wiggle around in. Relaxing. Good. Standing still until she relaxes. There we go. Walk forward a couple steps. Standing still until she relaxes. Nope. Be really consistent with your corrections so she learns 
when, as soon as she gets ahead of you, she's going to be corrected. If you let her go forward sometimes and not other times, she's gonna always try to go ahead because she mm -hmm. knows that sometimes you let her. Now see how we've got this loose? Mm -hmm. And she's walking right next to me. That's the goal. Quick correction again. I'm gonna stop because she keeps trying to pull, not by a lot, but I wanna catch her before she goes. So it's better to come out and do this for five minutes a couple, every day and get her into the habit of what it means to walk next to you than to try to go out for a 30 minute walk because that'll be overwhelming for her. This is to teach her how to walk loose on a leash. It's hard to go for a full, full walk and train her at the same time. Mm -hmm. So go out for shorter walks more frequently, even if it means just going around the block and then come back. Um, so those would be the tips that I would have. Um, if she gets really excited because she sees a squirrel, stand still. It's harder to mm -hmm. kind of correct her and try to walk. So stand still till she can see it and stand nice and relaxed and keep the leash loose. This is even better. She's nice and relaxed. She's like, I'm gonna sit down and kind of scratch myself. <laughs> All right, we'll take a couple more steps and we'll wrap up the video. Come on, Zoe. There. Try to, when, you're, when she's walking next to you, keep the leash loose so she knows what the goal is, is to feel this good. <laughs> Right, good girl, Zoe. Awesome. Good girl. Great. All right, so um, this is how you can go about the structured walk and teaching her how to walk loose leash. And again, I, um, the goal is to eventually get to the point where you have this nice and relaxed and you can use this as extra space to let her smell around when she stops getting to the point of pulling. If you absolutely ever had to and she was pulling so hard and she started chasing something or there's a dangerous situation, you can pick her up like this without it hurting her. Um, I don't recommend it unless it's an emergency to help put the brakes on, but if you absolutely ever had to, you can do it without hurting her because it's going around the strongest part of her body instead of pulling directly on her neck. All right.